you could put it on your website. How will students access the Google Form? And you'll notice there's this new feature where it'll auto save the student's work. So here I have the student. They want to fill out this form. And what you'll see is that it has this cloud icon indicating that it is saving. So the student will be able to know that they are logged in. They have to be logged in on their domain. So this is the same ending to the email as your email address. And so they have the same email or the same Google login is going to save to their account. This doesn't work if it's Gmail to the school email. It's got to be on the same domain, the same school. And so you can see that you have this feature if the cloud icon is present. So then the student can log in and start responding. So we can see that we have on here five questions and I am not done. Do not submit. Submitting submits or turns in the form, but you can see that the student is not done responding. They've started their answer on number one, they started their answer on number two, and they haven't answered the remaining questions. So what they're going to do is simply come up to the tab and close it. So they have not submitted. The teacher does not have the results. So the way that I open that Google form is as the teacher I provided to the student this link. Click here to fill out the Google form. So we're going to go back to that Google form. It's going to come back and you'll see that it says draft restored. So as I open up this form again you'll see that my responses are still there. I didn't lose any of my answers. So the student can continue to work on this and as they work on it, they want to double check that it says draft saved. Low internet connectivity could result in it not saving, so make sure that it is saved and of course they need to be logged into their school account on the school domain for it to save and obviously they need to return back to the same account in order to get those results. So I'm going to again, I'm just going to come up to the tab and I'm going to close it. So I've closed it out. I did not submit it. And I'm going to click here and return back to the Google form where once again it says that the draft is restored. And I can see one, two, three, that I have those answers. I'm going to close the tab. Oh, see it's giving me a warning. It was saving. Now that it's saved, I should be okay. All right, I'm going to click here. I'm going to come down. I got that little notification in the bottom left. This says my progress was restored. How do you know? Combine means to mix things. I'm not going to submit. Just going to, uh, see, it was quick. It was still saving, and then it clicked save. Go ahead and close it. Double check that it says saved. Click here for the form. You can see it's saving up in the corner as I edit it, and now the draft is saved. So once again, take notice that it is saving and then saved as I made edits. And I'm going to close it one more time. Click here. Look in the bottom left. It says your progress has been restored. And now that I've finished filling it out, I can go ahead and submit it to the teacher.